Shout out to Gucci, man. Shout out to Big Have Gucci, man. The real nigga in the world, man. He's dropping that money on that funeral, man. 20 you know, bands and flowers. Man. Remember, we said if uh, if Gucci, man, paid for the uh, funeral, he's going to be right. the realest nigga in the world. Hey, he just got the war for me. Really nigga in the world. You know me? Big Gucci. Gucci, man. I salute you. That's a that's a really touchy subject right there because Big Scar put the work in for those chains, and that's like Indian giving. That's on some Indian giving type stuff. You know what I mean? You just gave this guy <clears throat> three real chains that he rolled with pride every day until he died. Yep. That's like keepsakes. It was like memorabilia. That's like something that he was known for. You know what I mean? You like you taking that guy identity away. And you know that you, you know artists are worth more when they're dead. So now he's exactly gonna make, now he's gonna make even more money. He already he deserves those chains. His family exactly. Deserves, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a shame. Speaking it's, of chains, shout out to the jewelers, man. That's icing up all these celebrities out here that's holding it down, that's keeping it real. They ain't trying to ain't, you know, bust their brains and charge them out the frame and then come and get their chain when they die. We ain't with that. We're at seven thirty. We trying to rock the jury until. It turned to dust. <laughs> you know That's a fact. There are a lot of these, these, um, these labels are signing people and putting these life insurance policies out on them, right? And then they're being enablers of their, what I say, destructive behavior. Yeah. They letting them continue to do hair on. They letting them continue to be around toxic people that don't have their good best interest. Like bro was just saying, they don't have their best interest. And then when they die, they make quadruple the money off the off the product that they put out, and the life insurance policy plus whatever mm -hmm. else they can squeeze out. Then the family rarely gets any of these proceeds. Yep, that's the that's the astonishing part about how they make so much, but the family because don't reach no benefits of it. Don't, the family don't even know how much the the, uh, the person was worth. You know what I mean? Yeah, because like the homie knows, like um. You know who was there when they signed the deal? He, he probably precisely. Got, he it's probably so secret. The, the family don't even know nothing about it. Yep. He, he could just, you know, I'm not gonna say, uh, you know, Gucci man, but they could just forge signatures and 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 keep all the royalties and shit. He probably didn't even have his own lawyer when he signed the fucking thing. Right, and that's another thing. A lot of people don't know they got to have their own lawyers because the lawyers that they have already in play it's from, it's from the gonna play for the record label so they're gonna have the best interest of the record label when they sign so you got to have somebody that's like either not biased or just a whole new face to the situation you see what i'm saying because if the lawyer is not intact you know what you're signing what you're getting done on yeah exactly especially if you're not you know smart where it comes right if you're not contract literate and that's nine times out of ten, a lot of these rappers aren't because it's hundreds and hundreds of pages of words. You know what I mean? You're an a book what, reader. What, you ain't going to sit there and take days and days to read no 500 pages. What they do is uh, I've seen Gucci Man get them chains and they the grills done ASAP. So they oh, have yeah, yeah, yeah. $50,000 like exactly. cash, you know, so a little starter pack. So they're excited about that shit. But, exactly. But, starter but, pack. But, that's but, it. But, but Hot Boy West said he ran through his advance. They called the kit. You heard how Boy West said he ran through his events in like a week, bro. Yeah, I seen that guy. Then you like, yeah, man, I man, signed I for 100k. I had signed for 100k. I went dead, bro. Go. Man, how you, how you, that's the thing. Okay, explain nah, this to me. No, that's real. No, no, no. Explain well, to me. 100k because... ain't no money. I'm a street. Got five first degree felonies, lawyer fees, a car. There you go. Ain't never had none. You got, let's say, roughly, expensive. roughly 30,000 to play with. And you a young. Ain't never had shit. Man, that money gonna be going by next week. Mm. Oh, <laughs> shoot dice, but drug in a second. It's just life, bro. But Man, I ain't gonna see you in the stuff. But I'm gonna tell you. Now, I signed for 100K. I had signed for 100K. I'm going dead, bro. So he spent 100K yeah, in a week, bro. Okay, explain no, this to me. No, that's real. No, no, no. Explain well, to me. 100K because... ain't no money. I'm a street Got five first degree felonies, lawyer fees, a car. Ain't never had none. You got, let's say, roughly. Roughly thirty thousand to play with, and you a young ain't never had shit. Man, that money gonna be gone by next week. Mm -hmm. Shooting dice, drugging this thing. It's Facts, your life, bro. So true. 
and he was so honest and transparent about that. That's what's made it so real. And so it was funny, but he finally said, well, a lot of people are experienced. You know what I mean? Then they get in fucked up situations trying to recoup some money or, or get some more money from them after they got this little hundred. Not knowing they got to get back 200. You see what I'm saying? That's a fact, bro. That's a super fact, bro. That's crazy. He just broke it down. He finally actually said it. A lot of people were too embarrassed to say it. But he yeah, said, bro. he said he, that shit was gone in a week. Yes. If you already have some plans for it to be gone and then got lawyer fees. You want a car? He didn't even fees plus a, 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 a nice little house. Oh man, that's gone. Listen, he didn't week. even he didn't even mention the house, bro. That's what I'm saying. Oh, he, yeah, that's right. He didn't mention the house. Up. He said car. <laughs> you could have put you could have put fifty thousand down on the house, forty thousand, you know, yep. uh, bought a car cash for like thirty four. Yeah, the car. But he said he was drugging and thugging. Um uh, <laughs> And um, it's fucking crazy, bro. Man, drugging the thugging, delete funds instantly. You didn't even flip that hundred to a million. You could have put that shit in the crypto market. You could have, you know what I mean? Right, we got the five coins over here for them. We finna go in just into this new thing, the uh, the new frontier, the megaverse and the AI. You know what I'm saying? Artificial intelligence, we finna crank up that. You know what I mean? We finna make it really, really make sense. You Yo. know? There's people who put like a five hundred to a thousand in Dogecoin, and that shit got them like twenty thousand, bro. Exactly. So he could have. Like I said, when I was locked up, shout out to Seven Thirty Financials. We had some things popping off on that, and I was giving a lot of people some stock information, just of, of some, you know, just intuitive nudges, and uh, the dog coin. You know, I told people to get behind that. He did what he did. People cashed in and made a lot of money. So y'all stay tuned oh, yeah. for the next edition. Y'all stay tuned for the next five coins. Y'all stay tuned. Let we, us know we can bring what people y'all want to know. Show. And we're going to let you know. We could bring people to the show that we gave financial, you know. Right, right. The boss school. talk segment. Exactly. We just got to we just gotta line them up and, and bring them on through. Because we definitely have a boss talk segment where we come bring them, uh, these entrepreneurs and these well-skilled financial gurus out here. They, they got the knowledge of the game. And let him come chop it up and try to reach out to Black Wall Street and see what he got going on. Black Wall Street Trapper, I, I follow him. He followed me. You know, we networking. We're just going to make things happen, man. I got a whole bunch of crypto people out there in the crypto world and Bitcoin world. And, you know, they just want to trade and make some money. That's a fact. And a lot of people made a lot of money last year. Whoa. Yeah. Like I said, it's the future. You know, easy money. So, um, so yeah, this is a, a situation where... Uh, a lot of people have, a, you know, they, there's a bad taste in people's mouth with 1017, unfortunately, because they got Fujiano in jail. Right. Who shiesty in jail. Who shiesty. You got this guy, Hot Boy West, in and out of jail. All the Hot time. Boy West, in and out of jail. You ain't got a chance to do nothing. Doing robberies yeah. as a rapper. Exactly. Just to stay relevant and stay with some money in your pocket. You got to rob people. You know, and uh and we had Big Walt Dog. He had a murder trial when he first got in. I guess he didn't got that resolved. And then now you got Big Scar who just passed away. There's more. There's more people. You know, uh what's it called? Then uh, we got that Matt that whole situation that putting a bad taste in my mouth because I know him personally. I know him and Pusachi personally. These are my young niggas. Who? And for you not to pay your your young nigga respect and, and pay a little funeral bill, that's nothing. That's I know you got a happens. wife and kids, but. That's like that should be wrote off as a tax expense. That's a, ten thousand business expense. You know what I mean for the it company. Would've, it would have made him look like the biggest boss doing that shit. You know what, That's what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Sent him out of style, man. The big seventeen uh, 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 funeral. You know what I'm saying with the big ten seventeen reef with the big seventeen coffin. You no, know, he was him out of style. He was representing to the day he died. You feel me? To the day he died, even three if chains. They, even like if I was they did earlier, he he started this trend right. I'm keep it going too when I get back in the studio. Where he make his chain go clink, 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 clink. He make this clink a clean sound just before he go on on the track. And yeah. that was something him and Pusha T did. They came up because he had those three seventeen chains on. You know what I mean? You got to have more one chain to make the sound. So you so know what I mean? see you need boy. those chains to make the sound. So the sound got to ring with the chain. Fujiano had him too. Like he was the yeah, first. Yeah, Fujiano had him before he went in too. Exactly. It was like the first. Shout out to Fujiano, man. It was like the first Free three who he signed. You feel me? The new ten seventeen, which was Fujiano. Yeah, when they got signed. They got him. Exactly. Shasty, Big Scar, and I forgot who else. That was that. Uh, that was that class. Big Scar, Fujiano, and Pusha Those were the ones that came out. Big Wild Dog came after. 
Exactly. After they got locked up, he needed some new artists. I think Big Wild Dog came after the Fujiano going in. The Big Star Daddy situation and how Gucci Man actually never out to be a pretty solid guy. Exactly. He just, had, right. he, just had some things, he just had some things going on with his wife at the present moment where he couldn't drop everything and go to a Big Star funeral, but he still made preparations by sending Big Walk Dog, which is the ambassador of 1017, right? He's consistent. He's dropping. He's still alive. So he went to the front of Booch Bahad because he had some self praying with his wife prior to Big Star dying. So when Big Star passed, he couldn't just drop everything because he died in a fucked up way. So he felt like, alright, I'm going to be my end and send the band to the family like a real gangster do. You see what I'm saying? Send him some money through. But they feel like he should have been there. He should have came through because he's the CEO of the label. How you feel about that? I feel like, um, first of all, it's dangerous for him to show up to that funeral. He, if matter he did, fact, if you, if you can't, matter of fact, if you can't, can you pull up the pop giving a statement about not throwing him on the bus? Cause that was like real admirable pop. Cause, you know, older people don't go viral. For him to take the time out. Do the vowel thing, put the whole little thing. You say he was nervous smoking that cigarette. So I read body language. So shout out to all the people in the jailhouse. When you bullshitting or you got something going on, you smoke the nerves there. So he was going through something. He pulled it together and went vowel. You know what I'm saying? He put that together. He retracted the statement from whatever was going on prior to that. You know, his, his daughter got on there and nephew or family member, whatever was bad mouth for Gucci and said he didn't pay nothing. That was the original statement, right? But then Pop came up and said the Admiral Thane put the numbers out there. He said he sent the whole 10 bands just like he should show the receipt. He sent the whole 10 bands the one time, not in installment. At one time, he said the label that he was with signed sent 18,000. So there was a total of 28,000 that was sent to him outside of the family. Exactly. And then the daughter came out saying, uh, that she put that it was sixty thousand and he only sent ten thousand or some shit. You feel me? Right, right. Like they had a really overpriced room. I understand. I repeat, a big star. That's my young nigga over there in Hillstop, over there in Willet, over there in Glenwood, South Memphis. You know what I mean? Bunker Hill. You know what I mean? Shout out to Big Jeff. Shout out to Big D. Sent some money, right? You sent some money to the uh, to the family out of respect for the passing. But I know he was upset about it because I'm saying it's sure he don't want his artist dying. Of so course not. Yo, out of the out of the people that he right. signed with the new 1017, only one person is left. What? Yeah, because I know a lot of people was dropping, but this crazy. One person active on the rock, big wall dog. Well, no, uh, he was he came from the second wave, so the first wave oh, was yeah, yeah, right, you know, right. Big, Wild Dog Shirt, Sweet, Sweet. Big Scar, Enchanting, mm -hmm. another girl, and this dude, Roe Boy. Right. Roe Boy got dropped, another girl got dropped. Pugiano's in jail, Pushice is in jail, Big Star passed away, so it only leaves one girl left, Enchanting. I think her name is, and then I remember, uh, that, skinny, I remember that skinny little girl, she looked like Asia Doll or something. Yeah, so now, you know, of course, Big Walk Dog, he got a couple more people, but even, uh, like we said before, Matt Critter just caught a, a charge, murder charge, uh, so he got Kato two times as left, Big Walk Dog, I forgot who else. Yeah, that's true. But hopefully Fujiano and Pooh to come out soon, you feel me? Yeah, man, they had to do... I know I'll be switching up, but I've been there. They got to do what I did. They got to get in some program, get in some trade classes, stay away from them RVRs. They're going to want to fry now. They're going to want to give you a pack. The women do what they do. Anybody got swag, got anything going on for themselves in jail, they're going to want to try to keep you caught up in their little system. Hey, you're not alone with these folks. Word for advice, man. We all see this video. Stay away from the bullshit. Get home, man. You see where I'm at right now. At the house. That's a fact. You know jail wall. I trade them jail wall for a king size bed, man. I'm loving it. 
sitting on the junk going live with my business partner that invested in me eons ago, seen the potential, seen the vision. We bought in and we went live every freaking day and Friday, freestyle Friday, where I created the superstar A Shine. Shout out to A Shine, BBE, the superstar 730 radio, kingpin status, big motherfucking boss. He, he snatched my guy up and put him out there. We got the mixtape dropping. Yes, you know I mean? We got the videos dropping. What's next? What y'all want next? I feel like every episode we got to remind them that Team Shine, 730, we we made history. First podcast from behind first behind the wall. The first a the first a and R behind the wall. First a and R and video director. I may add seven third. Don't let video director, you know, video uh, director, a lot more. A and R president, CEO, VP, financial advisor, financial advisor. When you're an independent person, you gotta put a lot of hats on. Shout out to my queen P man. She got me the cowboy head. She's got super fast furry. You know what I mean? Keep it warm. Hold it down. We do what we do. Shout out to my guy, Mac Tree. Minds of a billionaire. Put the camera on it. Let him see this logo. Mind of a billionaire. Got the 730 apparel coming soon. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, one thing about everybody I fuck with, I rep 24-7. I don't play with it. You rep me, I rep you. That's how it go. That's how it's set up. But back to the topic, right? A lot of artists are dying due to I don't want to say mismanagement of drugs. I'm going to say overindulging drugs. Because the overindulging of drugs is taking them on down a spiral where they can't come back from. And then guess what? We get the news. Overdose due to substance abuse. That ain't the way nobody wants to be known for have a good career then go to this substance abuse thing. You know what I mean? That ain't no good look. No bad. Facts. For so many people to like see that 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 pattern and not get off track of it, it's wrong because if you see somebody right next to you playing Russian roulette and the bullet go off pow and they shoot their seven head, why would you want to go pick up the gun and play Russian roulette too? Exactly. That's and, not no you know, cool thing to do. Monster see monster do on death on death tricks. That ain't cool. You heard the rumor that. The same person was supplying two rappers that died already in Memphis. Yeah, that was, uh, you get that source that tapped in, like, uh, you know these sources ain't lying because they have no reason to do that. The same people that was consuming these drugs were served by the same person. So, like I said, whoever out there selling that WAP dope, that crazy dope, man, cut it out, man. Taking too many good people out with this shit. Chill out with that bullshit, man. It ain't worth it. What's a couple dollars for a person's life? It's price. You know what I mean? It ain't straight. Like I said, the father, he stepped up and he went out. He went out. He went stepped up to the place. He said, man, chill out. Lay back. The dude did the real deal. He did the real deal. He held it down. He showed everybody uh, the real side of it. He ain't come on no hot side and talking trash about it. He said, chill out. The guy did what he supposed to. He said he actually did more. Than- Remember, we said if uh, if Gucci Man paid for the uh, funeral, he's gonna be right. the realest nigga in the world. Hey, he just got the award for me, really nigga in the world. Be your big Gucci, Gucci Man. I salute you. What's up? Seven thirty. We been fucking with Four Job back when he was running around while authentic. Shout out to Boo Man. You know That's what I mean? Cool. He was authentic. Now he's certified. 1017. We've been seeing the potential of him. Hey, 10 bands. Gucci. He signed his 10 bands. I covered the rest. I covered the rest. I appreciate that. Big time. Big time. Certain things were said that 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 shouldn't have been said. It was wrong. Man to man, I wish somebody would have just died my you know, and talk to your guy 100. You know what I'm saying? All this out of control. Gucci them, Gucci them, hey, they the best thing ever happened to my son. You know, nobody deserved this here. Nobody ain't asked me for, for nothing. You know, I ain't heard, 
But now I don't know where all the story come from, but I know who did it. But y'all, hey, y'all forgive him. He a kid, man. He he just loved my son to death. I understand the boy hard broke. They they hard broke, y'all. He loved dude. So this was like a emotional outcry instead of a, a factual statement. Thanks to Pops for bringing that to the light. That sometimes our emotions make us overload our mouth. And then we get put in a situation where we got to retract statements or look like we got egg on our face when we reacted out of emotion instead of logic. I want to take a moment to for a little commercial break. Shout out our sponsors, uh, AM Custom Jewelry. Oh, I see you shining. So if you're looking for that ice, I'm talking about that high quality and the best deal on the market. That big, big drip, that drip that don't drop. Look at the back, too. Uh oh. That's how you know it's real. See the back. Let them see the back. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. I got, I got the stick. We got to hurry up and get the, the sound effect boy who back up so you get it with the. No, you're right. But shout out to them. we taking over 2023. Back on the street, you know what's up, big devil standing on everything I speak on. Certified from the streets, from the jailhouse, now the corporate world, internet world, let's go. And you got to get up early at 7.30 to do it, so don't forget that and don't let that go over your head. So if y'all are looking for exclusive interviews of any type or any sort from various artists that I mentioned in my first report, I'm just going to put it out there again, from the CMG label. Fred Game labels to the Profit Posse to the Three Six Mafia to the Team Go Tuna Wild Go Mode to Team Shine Plug in. You want you want a story? You want some exclusive? I let your boy hit up seven thirty. He'll book up your book and set up the time for the Zoom or for the way we do the interview, and we are gonna make it happen. Let's go.